So Downtown Washington Inc. formally started as a merchants committee. Uh, we've been around for about 32 years now. Really proud to say that we've been an accredited program, one of seven uh, through Missouri Main Street. We really pride ourselves on coming together as an organization, as a group, and continuing to have a working board and working volunteers. When they become a part of the organization, they know that, hey, we're here to make our organization and our community um, a better place for people to live, work, and play. So attending conference, I think, is extremely important. Uh, you're able to learn um, new ideas and pick other Main Street people's brains, uh, rip off and duplicate, as a lot of people say, R&D. And you know, when Andy uh, came up with this project of, of building homes and, and townhomes down on the riverfront um, in blighted areas, it was it, it kind of fit and checked all the boxes. That we, you know, we had the project. We were working on you know some plans for the project and trying to get you know uh, get some ideas together, but we weren't really for sure if you know we could you know pull it, put it together. And we went to a uh, conference in um, Chicago, and then we went there. Uh, they we toured the downtown and some of the neighboring communities and looked at housing projects. I think I think uh, regarding this development, a really important thing was being able to see what other communities have done. So the, one of the great things is that they have these uh, the day trips that you can take out. Uh, and when we were in Chicago for that conference, uh, we went to some really great trips to St. Charles and Elgin and various places. And we saw developments, and it really made you want to have that in your town. And of course, Washington, we have a bit of a, uh, a competitive spirit, and uh, and we really wanted to see our downtown look like those. And so, um, you know, when Andy started this project, um, I, I think everybody just knew it was the perfect project. It's exactly what we needed. Um, I don't think anybody thought that it wouldn't sell out immediately. And so that kind of really inspired me to maybe move forward. And when we started the project, our main goal was to have something that was sustainable and that something that uh, you know, fit in with our downtown. I think what's really historic about downtown Washington is the red brick. Everybody knows us as brick town. We just kind of started looking around trying to, uh, we wanted it to blend in. So we, you know, we drove around the community, we look at different buildings buildings in, the, in our downtown at the architecture and implement you know uh, you know ideas from those buildings in our into our uh, the design I think right now we have um, 20 28 units uh, and then another 10 with the, when the condo building is finished there's 10 10 flats that are anywhere from 3,000 to, to 2200 2400 square foot has a parking garage and stuff like that in it so and uh, you know, when we complete these units that we're working on now, it'll be we'll have uh, uh, 60 new residents, you know, in the downtown. Now, downtown has become something everybody wants to be part of. So that was the very beginning, but now we're at the point where um, you know there's very little inventory, and everybody wants to be down here. So uh, as far as the building goes, uh, you know, we were, I had just been wanting to buy something for a long time you know like i said it's a bit infectious you know you see development going on you want to be part of it uh and so we came across this building uh, my business partner and i did and uh we ended up buying it and uh we thought it had a lot of potential and we ended up renovating it and then there was a space that we didn't quite know what we were going to do with uh and so we came up with the idea to put a wine bar in it and uh, it's done really well. And I can honestly say, yes, that if, um, if we didn't have all of these residences downtown and all of this additional foot traffic that has pretty much been, um, has been spurred largely by this project, the Vandys, if we didn't have that, I doubt that we would have gone that route. Having you know, the new town homes that we have down here and the more residential homes that we have, it obviously brings more people down here to, to live, work, and play. And that's when you start seeing businesses thrive because the people that, uh, that are living down here, obviously, they're going to shop down here. They're going to walk around. Um, they're going to go out to eat. Um, so obviously, having more people in your downtown region, that's going to make everything rise from an economic um, viewpoint. There's going to be more businesses. There's going to be more amenities. Oh, I just think if, uh, you know, if you're thinking of going to a conference, uh, you, you really ought to do it.